my channel today we are going to discuss about roaming user profile a roaming user profile is a copy of the local profile that is copied to and stored on a shared server share okay for an example if i log into my machine my user profile stored on a local hard drive that is called local user profile but here in roaming user profile whenever i log in my profile will get stored on the server share okay so whatever files or configuration which i am going to configure on my desktop so all those configurations related to user profile and also i uh, what whatever folder i stored on the desktop will get stored on the server share and if i log into any other machine with the same user name so i will be able to see same configuration and same files will be displayed on the desktop okay that is called roaming user profile this profile is downloaded to any computer that a user logs on to a network as i told you if i log into another system or different any uh, any uh, different uh, system so i will be able to see all the files will be there okay so whenever i log in that files will get downloaded or you can say that my profile will get downloaded from this server share changed made to a roaming user profile or synchronized with the server copy of the profile when the user logs off for an example if i modify something to user profile so this settings or this file will get synchronized when user logs off okay next the advantage of roaming user profile is that user do not need to create a profile on each computer they use on a network so uh, i don't need to create additional profiles on different systems if i log into any uh, system 1 okay so same profile will get downloaded to system 2 same profile will get downloaded to system 3 so no need to create multiple profiles on multiple systems this is a advantage of roaming user profile let's see demo so how to configure roaming user profile first i need to create a server share so i open server manager console from here you just need to click on file storage services here you just need to select shares click on task click on new share select smb share quick click on next here you need to enter custom path custom path means wherever you want to store that profile so i am going to use c drive to store my roaming profiles so i can create or i can select any folder or simply i can type c colon slash roaming r o a m i n g profiles <coughs> after this i have to enter dollar sign so that this folder will get shared as a hidden folder okay click on next button here share name will be roaming profiles and local path to share on c drive roaming user roaming profiles okay and remote path to share is dc01 roaming profiles click on next so the local path you enter does not exist click on okay to create this directory yes i want to create a new directory with the same name here you need to select enable access based enumeration for an example i am having access to my shared folder so only uh, that folder will be visible for me not other folders if you select this feature click on next button here you need to click on customize permission <coughs> if you want to configure a set of users should have roaming user profile then you can create a security group and select that particular security group here and provide the permissions 
or if you want to configure roaming profile for entire organization then you can click on add button select principal domain users so whatever users exist in my organization that all the, those all users will be member of the, uh, the those all users are member of this group okay click on ok button and here you just need to click on show advanced permission remove traverse folder read attributes read extender attributes create folders append data remove read permission only these two permissions are required list folder read data create folders append data click on uh, also you need to select applies to this folder only click on ok apply ok click on next this will be summary of what share you are sharing on which server ok click on create so you will be able to see successfully created message create SMB share completed set SMB permissions completed click on close button so share is available now <coughs> once you share created you just need to open active directory users and computers I am using shortcut to open active directory users and computers dsa.msc is a shortcut so I want to configure John John should use roaming user profile so select profiles tab here you need to enter that path <coughs> what is the path so here you just need to type slash roaming profiles this is a path which I have already shared right click copy that path and paste here under profile path once you paste you need to enter percentage username so logon name will be automatically resolved here okay click on apply see job logon name already resolved click on ok button close okay let me reset the password for John password has been changed now let's log into system switch user john j o h n password is so how will you con uh, will you confirm whether this user profile is roaming profile or local profile or mandatory profile you just need to open computer properties click on advanced system settings here you need to enter administrator password so here you just need to click on user profiles settings and here you will be able to see that this profile is configured as a local okay cancel cancel something is missing let me verify on this server <coughs> roaming profiles myng R -O -E -M -I -N -G. run R -O -E ing pro file es profiles okay so let me click on apply button okay 
log off and log in again <coughs> click on input alt control delete enter the correct password so you will be able to see that again whether the user profile is logged in as a roaming profile or local profile click on settings see now you are able to see that john has logged in as a roaming user profile so this is the way you can configure roaming user profile and verify how the user has been user profile has been loaded roaming or local or mandatory okay i hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and do not forget to click on bell icon so whenever i upload new videos you will receive a notification so thank you guys thank you for watching have a nice day